It's 9 a.m. Why is no one working? Amy Santiago is a few minutes late, and we're all trying to guess why. I like her play. I'd say she's in line at the bank. This is fun. It is fun, but you're all wrong. She clearly slipped through a subway grate and is having terrible sex with a mole man. There she is, Amy. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Do you care to explain yourself? I'm just 70 seconds late. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Santiago, you will tell us, and you will tell us now. There was a problem at the bank. Hot damn! You missed Scully's birthday. It was kind of a big one. Nobody showed at the party. Guys, guys, guys. We missed Scully's birthday, and it was a big one. I know. I panicked and said I had to go to the vet because my puppy cat got sick. I said I had to take my mom to get birth control pills. That's better than my excuse. I said I had to go to my girl's bat mitzvahs. Squad, we missed Scully's birthday, and it was a big one. I told them I was in Ecuador. I think they bought it. We got to make it up to them. Let's give them cash. Everyone put in $20 each. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'll cover you. Hey, Scully. Huh? We're sorry that we missed your party. Oh, don't worry about it. You, you all had stuff to do. Yes, the capital of Ecuador is Quito. Oh. Anyway, happy birthday from all of us. Thanks, guys. You're, you're the best. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday. Scully. I can't believe it. The fake birthday worked. You're a genius. We're both geniuses. <laughs> Thumbtack book. That was my thumbtack book. So, I've been planning how to zing Madeline when she puts the metal on. I have the perfect line. Once time is over. So, it's a play on lunchtime. Yes, devastating burn, sir. But you know what would really show her is if you said nothing at all. Oh, interesting, interesting. Let, <laughs> let Madeline know she's not even worth my staying up all night crafting zingers. Lunchtime took you all night? Trust me. Turn the other cheek. Which I recently learned is about faces and not butts but works either way. Yes, I should be the bigger person. It shouldn't be hard, given that Madeline's not technically a person. For meritorious service, the NYPD bestows this award on detectives Rosa Diaz, Jake Peralta, and Captain Raymond Holt. Raymond. Madeline. You won. Go ahead and gloat, you toad. Thank you for this honor, Deputy Chief. Oh. OK. You're welcome. Lunch time is over. Boom, did it. <laughs> Had it both ways. No regrets. Very, very interesting. Guys, Captain Holt has no pants on. Um, what? He has no pants on is what? Here are the facts. At 11.55 a.m., Captain Holt walked past us holding a hot bowl of soup. At 12.03 p.m., I heard him yell. Ouch! Then, at 12.07, he called Gina into his office. She entered, holding nothing. One minute later, she left holding an opaque bag. Captain Holt's pants were in that bag. His knees are in the breeze. He's in his undies. That evidence is circumstantial. Oh, so you guys want visual confirmation? Not no. really. Done! Hey, Captain, I just need you to sign something at my desk real quick. Just leave it on the couch. Dismissed. OK. Sir, you're going to freak. Yo-Yo Ma is in the precinct, and he's giving out autographs. Yo-Yo Ma is on tour in Australia right now. How would you know that? I'm choking on a lozenge. I'm going to die. I got the drink. No, no, no. I swallowed it. I swallowed it. It's fine. Hey, hey. I made you another bowl of soup since you spilled yours earlier. But you're going to have to come over here to get it. All right, Peralta, I'm sick of you wasting time. So yes, I spilled some minestrone on my pants, and I'm sitting in my underwear. Happy? Yes. Ugh. Sir, I need you to sign off on. Look at us. Just three people with pants on having a normal conversation. Yep. No story here. Aunt. Ant, 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 ant. God, they're everywhere. Are we sure that we've cleaned up all the food and crumbs? Why is everyone looking at us? We're the ones who eat up all the crumbs. Yeah, we're the solution. Well, there are no ants on my desk because I sanitize it daily. What do you call that? Ah, those are your ants. They're using a monitor cable as a land bridge. Now they're destroying our technology? This is an invasion. They're in my yogurt. 
Now it's personal. All right, that's it. We have got to fight back. This is our planet. Just use Boyle's cologne. It's repulsive to everything. <sighs> Not cool. You're going to Penn Station to buy me a new one. The ant infestation? It's bad. They bite now, sir. I think they're just trying to avoid the cold weather. We should freeze them out. The plan is working, Captain. Yes, we won. Oh, my god. They're in the coats. They're in our coats. <laughs> oh my god. Jake, you got to see this. There's something going on here. Something a little hairy. Nope. Don't see anything out of the ordinary. Really? Oh, maybe I should frame the question differently. Terry, do you notice anything? <laughs> Amy. New shirt? Oh, come on, guys. I grew goatee, and it looks amazing, and I know you can see it. Of course we can see it, Charles. It's horrible. It looks like you unclogged a shower drain with your mouth. Yeah, you look exactly like the guy in the Don't Talk to Strangers poster. <sighs> no, I don't. Are you talking about your new goatee? Mm hmm I think it's a good choice of your face. Ah. Come over here so I can take a better look. Thank you, Captain. I knew you'd appreciate Bianca. That's right, I call her Bianca because she's dark and thick like my first cousin, Bianca. Jeffers Peralta, now. Whoa! Oh, no, oh, no. Say goodbye to Bianca Boyle. Bianca! Oh my God. Rose is wearing pink. Rose is wearing pink. Are we sure it's not a white shirt that's just been bloodied in a motorcycle crash? Well, maybe it wasn't her. Does she have a twin sister? If Rosa had a twin, she would have eaten her in the womb. Wait, pull it. Stop. How come none of you teased her about it? It's Rosa. She's scary. You guys are unbelievable. I once wore a tie with a splash of purple. You guys called me Mr. Graves for two years. <laughs> oh, Mr. Graves. I forgot about Mr. Graves. If I wore a pink shirt, you'd tear me to shreds. Well, yeah, but you'd look like a My Little Pony with a gun. <laughs> Let me guess. Your theater club is putting on grease, and you're playing a pink lady. Nice. <laughs> What are you guys laughing at? If Boyle was wearing a pink shirt. I get it. That's hilarious. What's happening? Rose is the one wearing pink. And? It's gorgeous. Wish I could pull that off. Dream on, strawberry shortcake. Yeah, nice try, Mr. Grapes. <laughs> Mr. Grapes! <laughs> Mr. Grapes! Hey, Gina, you got that file I needed Captain Holt to sign? Mm hmm Gina hasn't taken her eyes off her phone in two hours. First person to make her look up wins the pot. I'm in. Bet which improves someone's manners, double score. Sorry guys, I got this in the bag. I used to have to distract her from my phone all the time when we were smooshing booties. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Hey girl. Hey. Oh. Oh. Catch you later. Mid-morning dance party. She's dancing even better than normal. Oh my God, did you hear that George W. Bush died? Who that? Gina may never look at another real human being again. She's unbeatable. Uh, I don't know about that. Terrence Jeffords, are you kidding me? Changed my relationship status to it's complicated. Pony up, y'all. <laughs> Woo! It's my wife. Hey, baby. No, 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 no. It was a mistake. My thumb slipped in. I have to go home. No! No, no, no! You can't take her from me! You bastard! Don't do this, Scully. You have to be strong for her right now. What's going on? Unit's being replaced. Come on! Let's go. That machine's been here forever. It's basically part of the force. Take Scully instead. Yes, please. Take me to the land of vending machines. Can we at least have five minutes to say a proper goodbye? Whatever. Let me just start by saying that this machine is the best restaurant in Brooklyn, and it always had a table for me. I knew just where to punch it to get free food. Now I have to go back to punching Hitchcock. Look, she still has the bags of baby carrots I requested they put in. They're black now, but they're there. Goodbye, beautiful machine. Thank you for your service. OK, squad salute. You can take her away now. I think we handled that with dignity.